So Tech, what is the kerfluffle about the ADATA SX8200 and the change in their controller? ADATA made a change to their SX8200 Pro, which on one hand, shame on them for doing it without announcing it because what happens is companies will send out a product in one configuration and lots of companies are guilty of doing this. Kingston has done this, other companies have done this. They'll send out a product in a super optimized, great, wonderful configuration. Reviewers will get their hands on it, they'll publish reviews, people will use it. Uh, you know, it'll get five stars on Amazon. Everybody will be excited. And then they'll go in, they'll make a change that will cut their, their cost of making it, but will hurt its endurance or reliability or performance or something. Basically, it's a, the first version of the product is actually the best because they weren't trying to make money on the first version. They were just trying to get their... They were trying to get it out there. It's kind of like the 3080 in Jensen's uh, kitchen announcement. Gets everybody excited, puts that in everybody's mind, and then, you know, the capacitor problem happens. But what happens then is the second and third version are actually not always as good. You know a really good example of this, not to go off topic too far? Sega Genesis. The original Sega Genesis back from the late 80s and early 90s. Mm -hmm. The first revision of the Sega Genesis is actually the one a collector wants. Because it actually says high definition audio around the circle on the top of the unit. In later units, they omitted that and they actually don't sound as good. Because in order to cheapen them, in order to reduce the cost to be able to sell them for less, they condensed the chips down and changed out some of the chips and the audio fidelity output of, you might think, well, I'll buy version two or version three. They'll be better, they'll be more reliable, they'll be more dependable, they'll use newer technology. No, it's actually Rev1 Launch Edition Genesis is the best one ever made. So sometimes you don't want the refresh of a product because the refresh was them making more money, not giving you a better product. Now, it is absolutely true that the current SX8200 Pros being sold today are not as good as the launch version. I'm okay with this. Here's why I'm okay. I'm not okay that they do that without announcing it, but I'm okay with it putting that issue aside for two reasons. Number one, the change is minor. It's a small performance loss. You'll never notice it. It's still a really premium drive. It's just 5 or 10% slower than the launch 8200 Pros were. Here's the other issue. If you had bought a one terabyte SX8200 Pro at launch, you'd have paid close to $200. True. These are now approaching $100. So do I want 5 or 10% more performance for an extra $90? No, not really. I mean, if you think about it, imagine if they had come out with a new drive that was 10% faster, but they charged $90 more. Well, it sounds dumb, and, and it would be. So they slowed it down, they got their cost down, but now it's, it's not only still one of the best drives available, not quite as good as it was, but it's still one of the best drives available, but for a way cheaper price. Yep. It's kind of like, do you want to take a 10% hit for a 50% price drop? Now, the complaint, and it's fair, is people aren't necessarily given the choice because they aren't told about this. Correct. However, given the general lack of knowledge of any of this to begin with amongst the general consumer, much less the tech enthusiast community, but I mean, how in the world would they communicate that to the average buyer who just orders it off of Newegg or Amazon? No, but there's no way in the world. Um, ADATA's response to this is it still meets the specifications they listed in the original data sheet for like IOPS, you know, instructions, uh, input, output per second, mm -hmm. and for transfer rate. But of course, those numbers are just single data points. It's not hard to hit those numbers and have other things fail right. or, or fall by the wayside. However, from, we own multiple, and we bought we some recently. Uh, she just got a one terabyte SX8200 Pro put into her Ryzen 9 3900X. How fast is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh lickety split. Hang on. Whee! <laughs> and you have one of the new drives. Yeah. So, d does it matter? No. No, no. So, it, 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 if, if a stealth change happens, 
that dramatically affects performance, well, then, yes. uh, then I will call dingo on that all day long. And you Aussies know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's a big ado about nothing. I think people... I like the new price. I think people are more kerfluffled that they did it and didn't say anything. That's what I think people are more kerfluffled about. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm not bothered by it. So no. I like if, the new price. If you've got one, you don't need to send it back. It'll work just fine. If it really bothers you, on principle. But uh, if it really bothers you, tell you what. You could send me your one terabyte new inferior drive and a hundred dollars and I'll send you one of my older superior drives in return. I would trade all my drives out if I could have the price difference back. Exactly. I have an SX8200 Pro in my main machine now and it's mm -hmm. one of the, it's actually the review drive they sent me. So it's the old drive. Yeah, the older one, yep. If I could have the new drive plus a hundred dollars in my pocket, I'll take the hundred bucks in my pocket. Exactly. Hundred bucks. I like money. You do like money.